Shalom and welcome to Alexis's Bat Mitzvah. We are delighted to have everybody here, both in the sanctuary and online via the Shulcast. Just a word about how we'll mask and unmask here. If you are behind the plexiglass area and you are going to have a meal with the other person who's behind there, you can both have your masks off. So whenever Alexis is leading the service, she'll have her mask off. But if you're on the outside of the plexiglass, we're going to keep our masks on. If you go up there and you're part of her fam Alexis's family and you guys are having meals together, you can have your masks off together. And that's how we'll keep things safe as we begin to celebrate these, <clears throat> these moments together. The bat mitzvah itself really is both a moment that looks to the past and to the future. It looks to the past, Alexis, and it celebrates all of your achievements in compulsory Jewish education, You've learned Hebrew. You've learned about a relationship with God. You've learned some Jewish cooking, Jewish history, Jewish values. All of the elements that will allow you to pick and choose how you want to conduct your life as you step forward into adulthood. And in that sense, it's a moment that looks to the future and says, wow, look at the toolkit that she's acquired. And we all wait eagerly to see what you choose to do in the future to come. So we hope that this serves as a touchstone moment, both celebrating the past, but also launching you into adulthood. As we celebrate you becoming an adult within the community, one of the symbols of adult participants is the talus. The fringes of the talus are a reminder of God's commandments, a symbol of God's love and the direction we have. The talus is waiting on the bima for her grandparents. So I would like to invite Jerry and Linda to come forward and present Alexis with her talit. She's going to say a blessing before you put it on her shoulders. Just a second, Dad. Wait, wait, wait. Don't put it on. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech olam asher kichanu ruth hota v'tivanu v'hitate b'ptitzi. Amen. Yeah, you guys take your seat. Alexis, you'll stay there. We have a posse of arch openers. Julia, Lily, Kyle, Molly, Josh, and Sam, please come and stand next to the ark. I'll give you guys the signal when it's time to open the ark. <clears throat> Lisa, when the ark is open, uh, as, that prayer, as I then begin an English prayer, ultimately you'll want to stand in position to receive the Torah. You can hang out right here and keep your eyes on your daughter right now. The service will be in the blue prayer books on page 139. But I encourage you to draw your spiritual inspiration this morning from Alexis's leadership and not necessarily get caught in the printed word on the page. Alex, uh, Alexis, we turn to you to begin with Ein Kamocha, page 139. <coughs> Malhut de ha malhut, kololamim, umem shalt de ha behodor vador. Adonai mala, Adonai mala, Adonai yimlo, leolam va ed, Adonai oziamo yiten, Adonai yivare. At a mova shalom, al harahamim, etiva virtsonha et 
Tivne Homa Yerushalayim Tivne Homa Yerushalayim Ki Veha Levad Batachnu Melech El Ram Benisa Adon Olami We rise with the Archidote. Why he been so a hot around? Why o mer Moshe? Kuma Adonai, we a fruit su or vaha, we a new su mesanaha, me panaha. Ki mition, te te Torah. Ki mition, te te Torah. Udevar Adonai Mirushalayim Parush and Atan Torah Torah Parush and Atan Torah Torah Piyamo Yisrael Pikidu Shato Rula Mir Spacey and Naming Your Sovereignty we are the servants of the Holy One, whom we revere and whose Torah we revere at all times. Not on mortals do we rely, nor upon angels do we depend, but on the God of the universe, the God of truth, whose Torah is truth, whose prophets are truth, and abounds in deeds of goodness and truth. And God, do we place our trust under God's holy, precious being to utter, utter praise. Open our hearts to your Torah. Answer our prayers and the prayers of all your people, Israel, for goodness, for life, and for peace. And let us say, Amen. Lisa, if you will present the Torah to your daughter and then stand next to her. You got to turn it around. Hold on a second. You good? Okay, beautiful. If you'll lead us in the Shema. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Echad Eloheinu Kadol Adonainu, Kadol Shemo. Echad Eloheinu, Kadol Adonainu, Kadol Shemo. Gadlu Adonai Iti, Unerom Ramar, Shemo Yachdav. Well done, thank you, Alexis. Because of COVID, we're not parading the Torah throughout the congregation. You get organ and take that stuff and get organized as Mark Weiner will be coming forward to read from the Sefer Torah. Yes, you guys can sit down. Alexis is going to sit down with you once she gets her materials, whether you want them, wherever you want them. This Shabbat, we begin the fourth book of the Torah, and uh, Alexis has done actually an incredible job of, of memorizing the, the names of the books of the Torah. This is the book of Bumibar in Hebrew. In English, we call it the book of Numbers. We are one year and one month since the liberation of the Israelites from Egyptian bondage, and they are still camped at the base of Mount Sinai, where they encountered God and received the Torah. Having dealt with 
the ethical and ritual laws that apply for all time in the previous book, the book of Leviticus, the Torah now returns to the primary narrative of the five books of Moses, which is the liberation of the Jews from Egyptian servitude and their journey towards and ultimately into the promised land. The initial focus is on maintaining and protecting the divine presence. In the Torah's view, God, at this point of the Torah, that God can only be present in one place at one time. So God has been present on Mount Sinai. The people need to leave Sinai and journey to the promised land. Where is God going to be? Is God going to stay on Sinai and the people will go farther away from God? No, the solution is the construction of the tent of meeting or the tabernacle, this earthly abode for the divine presence. And so now that we have this tabernacle which has allowed God's presence to move from Sinai into the tabernacle, plans need to be made for what do you do when you physically are going to move the camp. You need to take down the tabernacle. You need to set it back up. And that will, those actions will allow God's presence to remain with the people as they journey. And so they've organized themselves into uh, a military camp in order to protect this sacred center, the tabernacle in which God's presence dwells. They uh, organize themselves, putting different camps in different, different tribes in different places. And ultimately, they also must concern themselves not only with external threats, but also because of God's presence, which is ultimately there's a danger in coming too close to God if you're not prepared to do so and you're not of the, the people who are allowed to do so. So they also need a way of preventing any encroachment from within the camp. And the Levites will be charged with that and organized to do so as well. So for the first Aliyah, if you want again to follow along in the red Eitzheim Chumash, that's the Hebrew word for Pentateuch, you will have a large red book under your, pay, under your uh, seats. That's on page 774. If you're following along at home, we're reading from the book of Numbers, chapter 2, verses 1 through 9, and we honor Julia with the first Aliyah. May God help you, save and shield and all who trust in you, and let us say Amen. Just, to, I'll say this once, Julia. Um, that mic, you're going to have to come get pretty close to it. And since I like how you're standing there, because Mark's going to be standing here, so future people will stand just like Julia's doing. Go ahead, Julia. You wanna, let me give you the, the... You've got that there? Okay, very good. You can uh, give the blessing for the reading. Baruch Hu et Adonai Hamvarach. Baruch Adonai Hamvarach Leolam Vahed. Baruch Adonai Hamvarach Leolam Vahed. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam. Asher Bahar Banu Mikol HaRamim. Vina Atan Lanu Et Torato. Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah. Amen. By the bear Adonai Moshe Vyaro Lemohor. Ish al di glovio tot levet avotom yachanu bnei Yisrael mi neged saviv leolmo ed yachanu vachonim akedma mizracha de yamachne Yehuda letzivotam v'nasi livne Yehuda nachshon ben Aminadav utzva uvkdehem arba av shivim el v'sheish ma'od v'achonim olav matei yisachar v'nasi livne yisachar nitan el ben suar utzva uvkodav arba av chamishim el ev arba ma'od matei zvulun v'nasi livne zvulun eli av menchelon utzva uvkodav. Shiv Ava Hamishim Elef Yaba Meod Kolakutim Lamacha Neyuda Mat Elef Ushmonim Elef Sheshit Alefim Arba Meod Nazivotom Rishonah Yisau Baruch 
Ha Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher natan lanu Torah emet v'chaye olam nata b'tochenu baruch ata Adonai noten ha Torah. Amen. We're holding on chapter two, verses ten through sixteen, page seven hundred and seventy-five, and this chapter is dealing with the physical arrangement of the Israelite tribes in an order to surround and defend the sacred center, the tabernacle, with divine, the divine presence when the camp is at rest. And for the second aliyah, we would like to honor Julie Tapper, Ta'amod, Reina Etya, Bat Ruvain, Benachama Batya, Sheni. Baruch Hu'ad Adonai HaMvorach. Baruch Adonai HaMvorach Le'olam Ba'ed. Baruch Adonai HaMvorach Le'olam Ba'ed. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Bachar Banu Mikol HaAmim, Natan Lanu Ed Torato, Baruch Ata Adonai, Notein HaTorah. Amen. Dege Machane, Ruvain, Teman Elitzivota, Vanasi Livne Ruvain, Elitzur Ben Shedei Uts, Va Uf Kudav, Shisha Varim, Ela Pach Shvachamesh Meor, Bachonim alav matei Shimon ben Asi lifnei Shimon Shumi el ben Suri Shaddai Utzvav kuda ufkadehem Tisha v'chamishim elav u'shalosh me'od Umatei Gad ben Asi lifnei Gad El Yosef ben Ruel Utzvav kudehem Chamisha v'arbeim elav v'shesh me'od Bachami <laughs> Now, verse 17 is important to understand the, the, the chapter verse, but as you can see from the white lines, it's set apart from the other sections. And here, the physical layout of how the Sefer Torah is written matches the physical description of what's happening. This is the verse that describes the tent of the meeting. And the tent of the meeting is in the center of the camp, surrounded by four different uh, And so just as the physical tent is in the center for protection, so that verse is set apart in the very center of the chapter. There's 34 verses in the chapter. So the physical layout of the chapter reflects this idea of protecting God at the center of the camp. With the third aliyah, we're going to honor Stephen Tapper. Ya'amod Yoshua Shlomo ben Yonah Chaim v'le'achaya shlishi. Baruch Hu et Adonai Hambarach. Baruch Adonai Mavarach le'olam v'ahed. Baruch Adonai Hambarach le'olam v'ahed. Baruch Ata Adonai. Eloheinu melech olam, asher barhar banu mikol ha'amim, v'natalanu et torato, baruch ata adonai, noten ha'torah. Amen. V'nasa ohel mo'ed mitachar halvi'im, v'toch ha'machanot, me'asher yachan, me'asher yachanu, ken yisau, ish al yodol l'digleihem, dega machanei Ephraim, tzivotom yama, v'nasi livnei Ephraim, Elishama ben Amihud utzva uv kudehem arba'a elaf achamesh me'od bi'alav matei menashe v'nasi livnei menashe gamli el ben betatsu utzva uv kudehem shenaim ushloshim ushloshim elf umatay umatay binyamin v'nasi livnei binyamin avidan ben gidoni utzva uv kudehem chamisha ushloshim elaf arba me'od.
Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Natan Lanu Torah Emet Vecheyolam Nota Betochinu Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah Amen Yes, of course, even We're holding in chapter 2, verse 25 through 31 for the fourth Aliyah, page 776 and we honor Andrea Cates Ta'amod Hanah Benyamina Bat Shraga Gadaya Miriam Sara Rivi Baruch Hu Et Adonai Hamvarach Baruch Adonai Barach Leolam Ba'ed Baruch Adonai Hamvarach Leolam Ba'ed Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Ha'olam Asher Bachar Banu Mikol Ha'amim Benatam Lanu Et Toreto Baruch Ata Adonai no ten ha Dan, Safono Lesibotom, Venasi Livne Dan, Achi Ezer ben Ami Shada, Utsva of Kodehe, M Shanai Mushishim, El Ushaba me od, Bachonim Allah Mate, Asher, Venasi Livne Asher, Pagi El Berachron, Utsva of Kodehe, Mechad Barim, El Fahamesh me od, Umate naftali venasi liv ne naftali achira ben enon utzva ukudehem shlosha vachamishim el be'abame od kol hapkudim lamachane dan maat el efeshivim vachamishim al al el efeshesh me or al la achrona yisau v'diglehem. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Natan Lanu Torat Emet Vichaye Olam Nata Betochinu Baruch Ata Adonai Noten HaTorah Amen Um, with the fifth aliyah, we honor Corey and Jennifer Tapper. Ta'a ya'amod Ephraim Shepsel ben Yona v'chayim v'chaya. Shali rib hamishi. Wait, I think, I think we got your mother's name wrong in here. I'm going to have to call you up again. Ya'amod, no, you stay. <laughs> ya'amod Ephraim Shepsel ben Yona v'chayim v'leya chaya hamishi. Baruch et Adonai Hamvarach. Baruch et Adonai Hamvarach leolam vaed. Baruch et Adonai Hamvarach leolam vaed. Baruch et Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam. Asher b'chabanu mikol hamim benatan lano et torato. Baruch et Adonai notein haTorah. Amen. Ele pugudei ben Yisrael ve'tavotam. Albeit Avotov. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Olam, Asher Natan Lanu, Torah Emet. Bechol Olam, Nata, Betochenu, Baruch Ata Adonai, Notein HaTorah. Amen. Amen. We're holding with the sixth Aliyah with the chapter 3, verse 1. If you're in the red, it's Chaim Chumash, it's page 777. Here with chapter 3, the focus narrows as we hone in on, again, this sacred center, the tabernacle at the center of the camp with God's presence in it, and the upcoming verses focus on the Levites, the Levitical priests, whose duties it will be to uh, perform duties within the ta- of relating to the tabernacle and to transport it. So with the sixth aliyah, we honor Linda and Jerry Tapper. Yondu le'achaya bat baruch v'vatya Vayona Chaim ben Gedaya v'Fredo Shishi. Baruch Hu et Adonai Hamvorach. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach leolam vaed. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach leolam vaed. 
Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech olam asher b'chabonu mikol v'amim v'notan lono et torato Baruch atah Adonai noten ha-torah Amen V'ehele todol Aron Moshe b'yom Dibera no et Moshe b'har Sinai V'ehele Shmot b'nei Aron Habachor nadav avihu Elazar Vitamar ve'ele shemot b'nei Aron ha'kohanim ha'moshuchim asher mile yodam l'chayin v'ayamad nadav avihu l'ifnei Adonai b'akrivam neisharat l'ifnei Adonai b'mibar Sinai v'anim lo hayu lahem v'yachayin Elazar vitamar al'pnei Aron avihem Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech olam asher notan lanu Torah emet v'chayim olam notan b'tuchenu Baruch atah Adonai noten ha-Torah Amen. Yes, Rekoah. Well done. With the seventh Aliyah, chapter 3, verses 5 through 13, page 778, these concluding verses, we see the continued rejection of primogenitor, the notion that the firstborn in the family gets exclusive rights and exalted status. In this case, with regards to God's service, the firstborn are replaced by the Levites. And this may reflect the establishment of a professional, albeit inherited, priestly class. For the seventh of Leah, we honor Lisa, Ta'amod Esther Rachel, Bat Yonah Chaim, Valeya Chaya, Shivi. Baruchu et Adonai Hamvorach. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach, Leolam Vahed. Baruch et Adonai Eloheinu Malcholam, Asher Bacharabonu Mikol Hamim, Benatan Lanu et Torah To, Baruch et Adonai Noten HaTorah. Amen. Vaide Baranoi Moshe Le Mohak, Reb et Mate Levi, Vahamarata Oto, Lifne Aron HaKohen, Vesheiro Tu Oto, Veshamru et Mishmarato. Yet mishmer kol haidat lifne olamo ohel mo eid labod et avodat ha mishkan veshamru et kokle ohel mo eid yet mishmer et bene Yisrael labod et avodat ha mishkan venatata et halviim li aron uvanob netunim netunim ha he malo me eid bene Yisrael viet aron viet banob tifkod veshamru et kunotam vazar hakreid yumah Vai da be ara noia moshele moa vaani hine la kahti et alavi mi tok bene Israel ta khat ko bkho peta recha mi bene Israel vayu li halim ki li ko bkho biyom hakoti ko bkho beeretz mitzrayim. Idashti li kobocho bi Yisrael me adam ad bahema li yu ani adonai. Baruch ata adonai Eloheinu malchalam asher natan lanu Torah emet v'haye olam nata betochenu baruch ata adonai noten haTorah. Amen. Lisa, I have the honor, you stay up here because you're going to stand next to your daughter in a moment, but uh, I have the honor of, of giving you a blessing. Uh, the beginning of the reading that Mark just read, the Lord spoke to Moses saying, advance the tribe of Levi and place them in attendance upon Aaron the priest to serve him. They shall perform duties for him and for the whole community before the tent of meeting. And in, in some ways, uh, that's what you've been preparing your daughter for, is to be able to be independent and empathetic to take on responsibilities, to perform the duties that are fitting and appropriate for her. And so just as the priests were uh, installed into service, so too your daughter is being, uh, if you will, celebrated for her entrance into young adulthood. And so we want to say a, a prayer for you. Mishaberach Avotena Abraham Yitzhak Ve'avkov, may God who blessed our ancestors Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, Bless Esther Rachel, Bat Yona Chaim, Balea Chaya. Bless Lisa, the daughter of Jerry and Linda, who has come for an aliyah on the occasion of her daughter becoming a bat mitzvah. 
She thanks you for the strength that you have granted her that she may reach this moment. Guide her to recognize her daughter's new responsibilities and bless her with joy and fulfillment on this and on every day forward. And let us say, Amen. Amen. I will recite the Hatsi Kaddish, and once I conclude that, then I'll invite uh, you to stand here in advance of your daughter. I now call Alexis to the Torah for the first time. Ta'amo, slow down a little bit so I can call you up before you get there. <laughs> Tamod, 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 Abuchura Habat Mitzvah, Batya Bat Esther Rachel, Mafira. So let's find your place in the Torah while you set up your, while you set that up. Yeah, but that's your blessing, and we got to make sure we get your your place here, right? Uh, verse eleven. Then. I think it's this one right here. Yeah, right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're gonna put your blessing where you need it, and you'll touch the Torah with you. You can take your mask off. There you go. Get comfortable. You're gonna touch the Torah with your talis. Baruch Adonai Hamvarach. Baruch Adonai Mavarach Elam Baruch Adonai Hamvarach Elam Baed. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam. Asher Bahar Banu Mikol Haamim. Benatan Lanu Et Torah To. Baruch Ata Adonai Nuten HaTorah. Amen. Vayedaver Adonai Amoshele Mor Vani Hine Vakati et Hollywitni Mito Bene Yisrael Tahat Kobrehor Paterahem Mi Bene Yisrael Vehayuri Hollywitni Barukata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Natan Lanu Torah Emet, Vehaye Olam Nata Vedoheinu, Barukata Adonai, Noten HaTorah. Amen. Excellent job, Alexis. Yashikach, well done. You're gonna, you're ready for the Haftar, I know, but I gotta give you a blessing first. Hold on a second. See, so let's, let me, I'll just slide that like this. There you go. Mishabera Kovatera, Hamitak, Kovatera, 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 Kovatera,
Batya, Bat, Esther, Rachel, may God who bless our ancestors, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah, bless Alexis, Dada, Lisa, who has come for an Aliyah upon reaching the age of mitzvot. May the Holy and Blessed One sustain and support in you, helping you be wholehearted in your faith, to walk in God's ways, to fulfill mitzvot, to study Torah. May God continue to give your parents the wisdom and the guidance to guide you to maturity, to the blessings of Chupa and a life of Maasim Tovim, good deeds. May you always find favor before God in our community. And let us say, Amen. Amen. If you accept the sign why I lift the Torah, because of COVID, we're not going to do a ceremonial lifting of the Torah, but I invite you to rise as the Torah is wrapped. Vezot HaTorah Ashes HaMoshe Lepnei Vena Yisrael Api Adonai Biyad Moshe Torah, 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 Torah Siva Lanu Moshe Torah, 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 Torah Lisa, you can have a seat. Alexis, you're going to prepare for... I'll feed it as the Torah is resting. Alexis, you're going to prepare for the Hap Torah. Uh, again, if you want us, take a look inside. It's on page 787. We'll be reading from Hosea. If you're following along at home, we, the Hap Torah is taken from Hosea chapter 2. And with that, we turn it back to you. Why don't you move this mic a little closer to you? It'll pick things up a little bit better for your hop tour at Chanty. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Bahar Ben Me'im Tovim Ve'ratah V'divrehem Hane'em Marim Be'emet Baruch Adonai, have a hair, but a raw, um, a share of dough, of Israel, a more, ha, emet, but said, Amen. The Haya Mispar, the Nay Israel, Keho Hayam. Asher lo yimad velo yisaper vehaya bimkom asher yamelachem lo amiyatem yamelachem vene elhai vene pitu vene Yehuda vene Israel. Yachdav v'samu lahem rosh echad v'alu min ha'aretz ki gadol yom Yisrael imru la'achem ami v'la'achotechem ruhama rivu v'imham rivu ki he lo ishti v'anochi. Lo isha v'tasher zinunaha mi panaha v'na afufeha mi ben shadaha v'na shitena aruma v'hi tagtiha k'yon hivada v'shamtiya chamibar v'shatiya k'eretziya v'hamitiha but some are we at Banaha, Lawaraham, Kivane, Zinunim, Ema, Kiwi, Kizanta, Imam, Hovisha, Horatam, Kiamra, Eha, Aharem, Ahavai, Noet Ne, Lahmi, Ume, my, Tamri, Ufishti. Shami Vishi Uyai Lahain Al Kininisah Etarke Vasirim Vega Darti Ekiderai 
Untivataha low teams are Ata Adonai El Hinu Mala Haolam Sorko Haolamim Sadik Beho Hajaro Ha El Hana Amon Ha Omer Versa Amzaber Umkayem Sherko Devarav and Met Dot Sadet Na Amon Ata Hu Adonai El Hinu the Na Amonim Devaraha the Devaraha Midvaraha Ahor Lo Yashu Rekam Ki el melech ne'eman, v'rahaman ata, baruch ata adonai. Baruch ata adonai. Ha'el ha'ne'eman, behol devarah. Amen. Rahim al Zion ki hi beit ha'yenu, v'la aluvat ne'afesh, toshia bimhera v'yamenu. Baruch ata adonai. Baruch ata adonai. Mesamei at Zion, bevanecha. Amen. Samhenu Adonai Eloheinu Eliyahu Hanavi Avdeha Umahut Beit David Mishihaha Bimhera Yavo Veagel Yubenu Akisolo Yishavzar Velo Yinhalu Ur Aharim Et Kivado Kivishem Kotaha Nishpatalo Shilo Yifah Nero Velam Vaed Baruchata Adonai Baruchurushma Nagin David Aha Torah, we are Havada, we are Hanvim, we are Yom, Hashabat, Hazar, Shanatatalanu, Adonai, Elohenu, Victisha, Limnuha, Lehavod, Ultifaret, Aha Kol, Adonai, Elohenu, Anachnu, Modim, La, Umvarachim, Ota, Ibarashim, Ha, Befi, Kol, Hai, Tame, Leola, Va'ed, Baruch Atah Adonai, Baruch Uvuk Shema, Nekadesh HaShabbat, Amen. I need your help, Josh and Sam. You have the special responsibility of being the candy men. Everybody likes the sun kiss fruit gem, so uh, yes, if you'll you'll pass them out, take the basket and then walk around, hand them out. The the blessing for the sun kiss fruit gem is Baruch Atarunai Elohinu Melech Olam Shehakol Niyei Baro. Praise is God through whose word everything came into existence. <coughs> And uh, what you can't do is you can't hold on to the plastic because it makes so much noise. So if you want a candy, now's a perfect time for a delicious sun-kissed fruit gem treat. While Alexis is preparing to preach, to deliver her Devar Torah, to share her message of Torah with you. Oh, okay. It's too hard to get. We'll get it later. Okay. All right. Well done. By the candy men. Excellent work, guys. Now, you sh if you want a candy, now it's time to take it and pop it in your mouth. You probably do want one after that work. <laughs> All right. Once those wrappers are uh, open, Alexis, and properly out of people's hands so they don't make any noise, then we'll know it's time for you to uh, share your words of Torah. There we go. 
All right. I think we're set. They are happy. They are feeling something sweet. And we would love to hear your words of Torah lesson. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. This week's Parsha is the the Midbar. It is the first Parsha in the Book of Numbers, which tells the story of the Israelites wandering in the desert for 40 years. Today we wonder, why was it necessary to wander in the desert for so long? If you look it up, it should have taken the Jews two weeks to get to the Promised Land. So why did it end up taking 40 years? I have three possible reasons, then I will tell you what I think. First, the Israelites may have taken 40 years to get to the Promised Land because of punishment. During the beginning of their journey, Israelites often complained and showed a lack of faith in God. God was definitely not happy with all of it and punished the Jews, saying, None of the men who have seen my presence and the signs that I have performed in Egypt and in the wilderness and who have tried me these many times and have disobeyed me shall see the land that I promised on oath to their fathers. None of those who spurn me shall see it. God may have made the desert experience last so long because he wanted the Jews to learn their lessons and understand their mistakes. Second, although punishment is the normal explanation, perhaps there's another reason. God may have made the Jews' journey take so long in order to get rid of their slave mentality. To survive in the promised land, they would need to take responsibility for their lives and choose to follow God's command. The 40 years allowed a new generation to be born and grow up who were not raised as slaves, but as free people. Third, there may be a birth metaphor here. The cycle for a human to be born takes about 40 weeks, so one interpretation of every time the number 40 appears in the Torah is that it relates to birth. God may have made this wandering last 40 years in order for the Israelites to be reborn into a better group of people. God may have wanted the Jews to understand life in a different perspective than they had before. All three reasons may explain the Jews' 40 years of wandering in the desert. But what is really important is the lesson that we take from this story. I think this experience has taught the Jews that hardship makes us stronger. For me, many things in life can be challenging, such as school friends and just life in general. I have found that the hard things in life have made me a better person today. Through my hardships, I have learned that in order to succeed in life, you must face obstacles. I think this experience with the Jews taught them that the world can sometimes be a cruel and unfair place. I think this is still true now, thousands of years later, and shows in many ways. A lot of people go through very hard things in their lives, and it pushes them to become better. When people go through obstacles that can sometimes be challenging, it can sometimes make them a better person in the end. As I become bat mitzvah, I am learning that people need to go through obstacles in their lives in order to succeed. My bat mitzvah has been challenging for me, spending hours on it each week. I am learning that as hard as it has been, this challenge will help me grow, preparing me for the future. Shabbat Shalom. These are the lessons of Torah, standard half Torah, and now these good words of Torah. If you would like to come up and, and share any words with us in this moment. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. You did a wonderful job all of your accomplishments and your hard work all the time. <laughs> your dancing and your school, you're just an amazing human being. And I'm proud to be your mom. Thank you everyone for coming. Come right up to the center and take your mask off because we'll be the only one up there. Yes? A prayer for our country. Our God and God of our ancestors, 
We ask your blessings for our country, for its government, for its leaders and advisors, and for all who exercise just and rightful authority. Teach them insights from your Torah that they may administer all affairs of state fairly, that peace and security, happiness and prosperity, justice and freedom may forever abide in our midst. Creator of all flesh, bless all the inhabitants of our country with your spirit. May citizens of all races and creeds forge a common bond in true harmony to banish hatred and bigotry and to safeguard the ideals and free institutions that are the pride and glory of our country. May this land, under your providence, be an influence for good throughout the world, uniting all people in peace and freedom, helping them to fulfill the vision of your prophet, nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they experience war anymore. And let us say, Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Laura. That's a talk. Well done. And now I'd like to invite Ronald and Shirley up to the podium to recite, to lead us actually in a prayer for peace on page 149. A prayer for, for peace. peace. May, May we see the day when war and, and bloodshed cease, when a great peace will embrace the whole world. world. Then the nation will not threaten nation, nation and, and mankind will not again know war. For all, all who live on earth shall realize we have not come, come into being to hate or to, or to destroy. destroy. We, we have, have come, come into being to praise, to labor, and to love. Compassionate God, bless the leaders of all nations with the power of compassion. Fulfill the promise conveyed in Scripture. I will bring peace to the land, and you shall lie down, and no one shall terrify you. I will rid the land of vicious beasts, and it shall not be ravaged by war. Let love and justice flow like a mighty stream. Let peace fill the earth as the waters fill the sea, and let us say, Amen. Dr. Carl, well done, thank you, and thank you, Shirley and Ronald. Uh, Alexis, you'll take uh, space at the table, and if we can have our arc opening posse of Julia, Lily, Kyle, Molly, Josh, and Sam, I'll give you the signal in just a second. You guys stand up at the arc, I'll tell you when to open. Alexis, can you come to the, the table? I'm going to do the chanting. You're going to do the holding of the Torah. You got it? Comfortable? Mm -hmm. You'll open the ark. We rise as the ark is open. Yeah, hallelujah, shamaranai, kiniskav, shemo levado, odolah, heretz, veshamayim, vayaram, keheran, Tila lecho chasida, livne Yisrael am kerovo. Hallelujah, hallelujah. If you'll take the Torah back.
As the ark is closed, we too take our seats. And we're going to continue on page 182. <laughs> Mi mi chadonenu, mi chemakenu, mi chemoshienu, no de la lohenu, no de la donenu, no de la makenu, no de la moshienu, baruch elohenu, baruch chadonenu, baruch makenu, baruch moshienu. Atahu Hu Atahu Aronenu, Atahu Makenu, Atahu Moshienu, Atahu Shekatiru Avotenu, Lefanecha Eketor Ed Hasami. We rise for Alenu 183. Alenu Meshabek Adon Velo Hosam Manu Kamish Pofota Adama, Shelo Sam Chauke Nukahem, Vego Hovale Nuke Hohamona, Vanak Nukorim, Umishahabim Umodim, Lipne Melech Malache Hamalachim, Akadosh Bauhu, Shehunote Shamayim Veyoseret. O Moshe Bikara, Vashamai Mimaha, Hushkina Tuzo, Hushkina Tuzo, Vigove Mego Homi, Uelo Enu Enor, Ebe Makenu Efezulato, Kakatu Vetorato, Vedatayon, Vedatayon Ve Ashevota. Elelahavecha, ki Aronai hu Elohim, b'shamayim imaha, ve'aharetz ve'aharetz mitachat einod einod. point in our service that the congregation wishes to remember those who have passed in the past 30 days. Leo Corbin, father of Terry Berenson and grandfather of Carrie Rosenman. Arlene Goodstein, wife of Mike Goodstein, mother of Mark and Shari, sister-in-law of Jerry, and Dr. Michael Kenneth Goldstein, the uncle of Hal Schwartz. I also want to note the yurt sites that fall out today and tomorrow of Melvin Ellen, husband of Lily Ellen, Rebecca Hooker, the mother of Carl Hooker, Sandy, Sidney Abramson, husband of Barbara, father of Hope, Bernard Klein, father of Susan, Georgiana Sawyer, the friend of Barry Stein. Rhoda Rosenfeld, mother of Gila Namias. Abigail Apple, mother of Dina Bailey. Faith Jacobs, the sister of Adam York and Israel Aronson. Milton Insick, father of Gary Insick. Mendel Dodek, the uncle of Elizabeth Dodek. And Esther Zakin, the mother of Jer Jerry Zakin. If there's anybody in mourning or observing a yurt site, I invite you to rise and we'll join together in the mourner's cottage on 184. Together, Yitgadal, the Yitgadash, Shemeraba, the Alma, the Vra, Hirute, the Amlik, Mahute, the Hayekon, the Yomehon, the Haye, the whole Beit Israel, the Agala, the Vizman, Kari, Vimru, Amen. Yehesh, me, Rabba, Mavorach, Leolam, Olome, Omaya, Yitbarach, the Yistabach, the Paar, the Roman, the Vita dar vita le vita la shame de kudisha brihu le ela minko bechata vishirata tus bechata venechemata damiran be ama vimru amen. 
יהי שלמה רבה מן שמיה וחיים עלינו ועל כל ישראל ואמרו אמן עושה שלום במרומיו ויעשה שלום עלינו ועל כל ישראל ואמרו אמן We'd also take this moment to remember the family members who are always with us in spirit, Frida and William Tapper, Bertha and Benjamin Milia, Frida Rebello, Val Rebello, Frederick Tapper, Roslyn Weiss, Alan Tapper, Morton Tapper, Joel Gleischer. We take a moment to draw our awareness and our attention to the memory and to their spirit. to keep our hearts open thinking of those whom we love but now we turn our attention to family and friends who might be suffering a physical illness or perhaps something in the psycho-spiritual realm we offer a prayer for their strength their healing and their courage for them and their families as I pause between the two lines of this prayer I'll stop and if you have names that you'd like to add to our prayers please uh, raise your hand and add the names of your friends and loved ones <laughs> source of healing be with Casey Batsu Moshe Ahom Ben Dvor Ahu Shoshana Bat Chasti Ari Dov Ber Shomoch Dov Ben Chana Sar Haim Eli Ben Eli Le Ari Le Beit Ner Don Mori Levin Allow them to enjoy enjoy the beauty of this spring day Yechil Moshe Ben Yochavet Rasha Bat Hindel Rizel Milus Man Ohnet Kate Ben Kramp Avram Cohen Mike Whitney Nicholas Anchevich Rafu Ben Nachama Ed Berman Judy Krasker Bruce Samuels Beryl and Goyla Rachel as the earth awakens into spring, allow them to awaken from their illness. Rowan Hoffman, Sherry Wurzel, Edith Levins, Martha Bart Marina, Jeff Schwartz, Marjorie Sontag, Joel Parnes, Lev Shalom Ben Mary Shoshana, Phyllis and Norman Lagrini, Charlotte Brody, Marsha Bat Dela. As we spring ahead with vigor and energy, so too may they be blessed with vigor and energy. Yisrael Yehoshua Ben Chaya, Edo Bat Sarah, Yamitai Yaakov, Ben Bela, Ita Miriam, Bat Bat Sheva, Kalev Yehuda Ben Iri, Devorah Miriam, Bat Manya, Chaim Eli, Chaim Leib, Bat Hana Eliyahu, Yona, Bat Ben Rivka, Miriam, Bat Nachama. As we draw strength from the ga communal gathering, so too let them be blessed with visitors. Ruvin Ben Sara, Neil Barents, and Rivka, Machto, A Ben Silya, David Yehuda, Ben Miriam Chaya, Marla Curtis, Hannah, Bat Rachel, 
Shoshana Chaya Bat Havaru, Diane Zelinsky. Spread your light upon Rivka Bat Ziso, Raizo Bat Michal, Sora Arabia Bat Leah, Ruvain Azar Ben Hana, Susan Rujas, and Yehoshua Ben Shmuel, Leonel Tzokal of Brindle, Sora Bat Hana, and give hope to Miriam Davida Bat Dana, Leah Bat Leah, Miriam Sora Bat Raizo, and Devorah Bat Sara. And is there anybody else that we can include this morning from the sanctuary? Mark? Anyone else? May God be with all those whom we've mentioned and those whose names we do not know. pleasure to invite our President Mark Messenger. Not your final time at the Bema, but probably your final time as the President of our congregation to uh, share uh, gifts and announcements uh, this morning. Alexis. First, I want to congratulate you. You did a wonderful job. It reminded me a little bit of my daughter. I had a bar mitzvah here quite a long time ago. And I just want to present you with this certificate, signed by myself, the rabbi and the cantor. Congratulate you. you on a job well done. I also want to present you with this Kiddush cup, which is um, from the men's club and from Sharat Hayam. Hope you get to use it. Actually, a couple months ago, we had a, a dinner at our, my daughter's house, and she brought this cup up because she got it. You know, she's 32, so whatever it was uh, 19 years ago, and she still is using it. So congratulations. Hopefully you'll get to use this and wish you all the best. And I want to congratulate your, your mom and your entire family. Congratulations. Here we go with that. Job well done. Here we go with that. Congratulations. Sit down, you'll come back in a moment with your cousin. So a couple of announcements. Um, first of all, again, congratulations to your mom, Lisa, and to you, your entire family. Uh, this Sunday night, Rabbi Michael and Rabbi David from Temple Sinai are going to host Erev Shavuot services at 7 p.m. And on Monday morning, Shavuot AM will host Shavuot services at 7.30 in the morning, followed by Isker about 8.30. You can attend this service here in the sanctuary or via Zoom. The link for all the Shavuot services were in the weekly email and on the website under holidays. Monday night is Becky's Book Club at 7.30. They are discussing American Dirt. The link is on the website. And Tuesday night, we hope you'll join us for our annual meeting at 7.30 via Zoom. The annual report and links for the meeting are on our website under the Virtual Service Programs block. And next Friday, May 21st, will be a holy happy hour at Minion at 6 p.m. And this is my last uh, Shabbat as president. It's been, I will say, a hard two years. I'm happy I was able to do it. For those of you who don't know me, I am a physician, so I guess they picked the right two years to have a physician <laughs> president of the synagogue. Um, it's been a hard two years. I think we're coming out of it. Um, I look forward to great things for Sharat. You know, it's been an honor and a lot of work for me to serve as president. And um, things are on the upswing. Uh, we are going to hopefully start services in the building every Saturday, the second week of July. And so I wish again your entire family the best and congratulations to everybody. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat. Alexis, I know that you have some folks that you would like to say some special words to, so why don't you come forward? Uh, uh, we'll need that cup because I think we're going to use it in a second. <laughs> you know, if, if you want to, you know, like Serena Williams holds up her trophies, if you want to hold up and, and show everybody on the, on the camera your trophy. I would like to take this time to thank some of the people who have helped me. Um,
to become a Bamitra today. I would like to thank the rabbi for the service today. I would like to thank Mara and Andrea for um, helping me learn everything I need to know for today every single Monday. I would like to thank Barry for helping set everything up and get this all ready. I would like to thank my mom for helping plan everything and be a nice mom. <laughs> And I would also like to thank all of my friends and family who have come to watch me today. Um, so, yes. Thanks you hold the goblet of wine? You're, I don't think you need that mask because your cousins probably are. You guys stand next to your cousin, right over there. And I begin by singing the blessing, and then you guys will sit at the right to wake up. Okay? But let's line up nicely. See, you're, you're not evenly at this meeting. So scoot over a little like that so you guys can be. There we go. Let's make this look tight. Okay. There you go. Get in there nice and close. Okay. Good looking good, Mom? Yeah. Okay. All right. We rise for Kiddush, the blessing of the sanctification of the day. Visham Ruben
Congratulations, Dr. Long.